discarded book wreath for Mother's Day um, and some of these paper flowers to decorate the wreath with. So what you're gonna need is a lot of these, th these things you might have at home already. A piece of cardboard, a stapler, scissors, a book that maybe you don't want anymore, it's like ripped or something, this book has a ripped cover so it's perfect to use, and some twine and staples. Oh, and you're gonna need something to make the circle for the back of the wreath. So the first step of what I did is I took my plate and I traced it around on this cardboard and I cut it out and then I cut a smaller hole in the middle to make this uh, cardboard circle. So once you have that, you're gonna pull out some of your pages for the front. So this, this is like the size of one page. So to make this cone style, the best way to explain it to people is you're gonna put your piece of um, book paper um, horizontally like this and then you're gonna take the corner the left corner and take bring it forward like this then bring the bottom like this almost like you're making like a burrito and then you kind of just fan it out the way you want and then you take a piece of tape and just tape it like that and that's a cone and then you're gonna need about 24 for the first layer and about 16 for the second layer so that's how you make the cones so once you have the cones made you can make all the cones first um, what you're going to do is fold them over on the cardboard a little bit to where, to where like the bottom, like you're going to fold about like two inches of the bottom onto the cardboard and then just staple it onto the cardboard until you fill out the entire piece of cardboard. Okay, now for the discarded book wreath, you can decorate it with some different paper flowers or different pieces of paper. I'm going to show you how you can make this um, paper poinsettia out of, car out of uh, construction paper. So what you're going to do is get a regular piece of um, construction paper and you're going to fold it in half. <clears throat> and then you're gonna cut um, the rectangle piece off and use one of the rectangles to make the construction paper flower. So this is kind of like the same idea of the tissue paper flowers that I posted a little bit ago. So you're gonna have your paper like this and you're gonna do the same idea about an inch fold and do the accordion style fold. And you're gonna keep folding until you reach all the way till the end, to the end. So this is kind of like a poinsettia flower, but it looks like a really nice flower so you're just going to keep folding okay and once you have your little accordion style you're going to again take your scissors and cut on like a point so i guess instead of a point set this is almost like a dahlia you're going to keep cutting until like, you have a triangle on the end so it kind of looks like this and then you're going to take your stapler you kind of do need a bigger stapler than this but this is all i have at home and you want you want the staple to be going this way but unfortunately this won't go all the way through so i'm kind of going to go like on an angle to get it to get it be to get it to be the way i want if you go this way it won't fold correctly so i'm going to go kind of like on an angle so once you have it stapled it's kind of going to look like this and you're going to then fan out the petals um this really and again it doesn't have to be perfect <clears throat> You can kind of just like fold the way you want to fold. And what I'll do is I'll take like a little piece of tape because that might work easier than a stapler if you have the kind of stapler I have. And you're going to tape one, two of the petals together and you're gonna do the same thing on this side. So see how it looks? If my, I got my stapler to be correct, it wouldn't be that wide of a space, but it's for we're gonna cover that with a piece of paper. So just take a little piece of tape and go like that. This is a great little thing that you can make for your mom. You can make these and put them on top of a card or something. She'd think that, you know, probably really creative. So once you have your flower done, you can just cut out like a little circle, kind of like what I did with this one. You can just kind of like eye, like a, you know, like a quarter size circle. And then I'm just gonna tape, tape that right in the middle of the flower. It's a lot you can do with construction paper. And then when I make a couple of these, I'm gonna actually just cover these in the corner um, of the discarded book wreath. So this is how you're gonna make the second layer. So I have my whole first layer done. So what you wanna do is kinda hide all this brown, all the staples. So you're gonna take um, the other cones that you make and put them in between the ones that are already on there. But instead of stapling it, you're actually gonna take it and fold it under like this. So see how it makes a layer? Then you could staple it from, um, tape. you can actually tape it from behind. So I'm gonna take a piece of tape. I can do this with one hand. Um, if you can see how it looks, and then I'm just gonna tape it to the one that it's laying in front of. 
So then once you have that second layer, um, it really like puffs out the wreath and it looks really nice. So once you put that second layer on, as you can see, I taped the back, but that's not enough. See how it folds forward? You're actually gonna take either a piece of tape or a staple and staple it to one of the underlying cones. So here is the finished wreath on a door. You can see the second layer. Um, I was gonna show you guys a way to like kind of fan it out is to put your fingers here in between the cones and kind of just like put them up a little bit so they don't look so flat because when you're like adding them all together they get very um flat because you're kind of flattening them out on the circle and you can see the little uh, paper flower that was made i mean you could i you could put more a couple more in the corner you can actually even make a bunch of these flowers and just put all the flowers on the um cardboard circle and make a pretty wreath out of that whatever you think um, mom would like but here's a great mother's day wreath idea Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.